Hey you guys, it's Kevin. Today I am coming to you from Tasmania. If you're unfamiliar, it is an island off of Australia. It's part of Australia. It's home to the Tasmanian Devil. And I was gonna make a Tasmania video, like, showcasing all of its beauty, but something happened. Something that could have been really bad happened. And it's all good. I just feel the need to make this video because it's an actual problem that what I did and just why I did it. I'm gonna include some of the footage right now before I get into the story of what happened in Tasmania yesterday. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the beautiful footage before I get into something not so beautiful. It's actually pretty ugly. montage I put together for you. You're welcome. And yeah, Tasmania is so beautiful, as you just saw. And when I'm in a beautiful place, or just when I'm traveling in general, I just feel an underlying stress to capture everything. I don't know if you can relate to this. I don't know if it's just because I'm an influencer, which I hate that word so much. I would never call myself that. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. I just have never had a reason to. And the incident that happened yesterday to me kind of gave me that push to finally just make this and talk to you about this because I think it's a serious issue and I could have actually died because of it, which I now have learned my lesson. Story time, yesterday I was at this really just unreal waterfall and I had my drone with me. And then I was like, you know, maybe I should climb the waterfall. And this is what happened next. So yeah, I, I'm just happy I'm here and the only wound I have is a little splinter and I cut my pinky open a little bit, but that's it. My pinky had a boo-boo and uh, <laughs> easily could have just broken something, snapped my neck on the log. It just could have been really bad. And I just am so happy that I'm here to tell you the tale, you know? So I have the video right here. We're gonna watch it together because I just wanna laugh with somebody. As you see, my right foot slips and this is when I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going down. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at that, look at that stance right there. I am fully just reflexes in motion. I am just so quick to grab the log. I have learned my lesson, okay? And it's more of like a deeper meaning lesson too because now I just had to step back and realize like, why? You know, why do I feel the need to capture everything? Why do I feel the need to get so risky in getting cool pictures or videos. Like, I've been on the edges of cliffs before for no reason. Like, no one asked me to do that. I just took it upon myself. And I just, I'm not gonna risk it anymore. And seriously, it's so scary. And if you watch the news, you hear about these stories where people die taking selfies. Let's actually Google it. How many people died taking selfies last year? Are you ready for this? 259 people reported dead seeking the perfect picture. I really could have been another statistic at the waterfall in Tasmania. Imagine dying in Tasmania. Like, how random and kind of cool is that? Not gonna lie, like, I feel like it'd be kind of cool. Not, not cool. Obviously, it's not cool to die. But if I had to pick a cool way to die, it'd probably be falling off a waterfall in Tasmania. Not to be morbid, and it's not gonna happen again, but like, I'm just saying. You know? It would be cool. You can't argue with that. This is me telling you that I am done risking my life for the content, and you can hold me accountable if you want to follow me on Instagram and see the stuff I post. And if I do anything a little bit too risky, let me know. I also wanted to talk to you about just feeling pressure to capture everything because this is something that I've been dealing with for years now. I need to word this so I don't sound shallow, okay? I go places, and I thoroughly enjoy them. It's my favorite thing to do is seeing new places, However, 
in the back of my mind, when I'm planning trips to go to these places, like for example, going to Australia, I was already thinking about pictures that I wanted to post on Instagram. And that is just so sad. Instagram or just social media in general should not have that much of a influence on myself, you know? And I know that this is the case for a lot of people that I know and a lot of people out there. I've been places with people where we go to the cool scenic spot and we just immediately take a bunch of pictures and then everyone's like, okay, let's go. Like, pack the car, like we're done, we got the picture. But I do sometimes find myself walking up onto the scenic overlook and immediately looking at it through my phone before I actually view it with my eyes which is just crazy. But in the recent years, that hasn't been me. I actually wanted to share this little hack with you if you wanted to get the content and also enjoy where you are. This goes for like anywhere too. So when you arrive at your destination, you enjoy it for majority of the time. You don't even actually look at your phone or your camera for like the first hour of being there. And then you give yourself probably 10, I call it 10 minute trap time. After 10 minute trap time is up, then you just go back to enjoying where you are and living life because there's no need to share it with everybody. You should just be sharing it with yourself and being happy that you're at that place at that time. I just think social media is a very scary place that we are all part of now. And I think we have to just be very careful because I've witnessed very, unsettling moments just traveling. Okay, I'm gonna actually give you a little story, okay? I was in Amsterdam last year, and I was at this cafe, and this girl ordered this very photogenic looking dessert, so she had it in her hand, and she was very aggressive telling her friend to take a photo of her, and then she asked for a boomerang of her, like, pretending to eat it. She didn't actually eat it, and then she gets her phone, goes through the photos, nods her head yes, and puts the dessert in the trash. She bought dessert so she could take a photo with it as a prop and then just threw it out. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from this video. Just be safe out there if you're also trying to get the content and don't let the content dictate your entire life because it's just not a way to live. Let me know your thoughts on this. Comment down below. Like, what do you think of social media? How do you use it in moderation? Any tips you can give to me? love to hear it. So yeah, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later. Peace.